Good morning everyone, Chris here, Indoors Outdoors with Edgy. Now I'm going to go to a beach this morning, it's a little bit more remote this beach but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I'm going to go down to Flinders and just do a bit of beach walking. I might walk in the water, maybe up to my knees, so we'll see what happens. If you're wondering what equipment I'm going to use today. Alright guys, well if you're wondering what I'm going to be using today uh, on the hunt, uh, this is what I'll be taking. So basically I've got my Equinox 800 metal detector from Mine Lab. I've got my Gold Hunter sand scoop with a reinforced square tube handle because I snapped the wood one. Uh, if anyone's looking at getting these sand scoops, the cheapest I could find was $89 on eBay and you only get this scoop here and it comes with a little handle here. Um, and you have to just put a put a longer rod on it. Basically I used a broomstick from Bunnings. Uh, that, that worked fine for a little while but the water rots it and then it just snaps. So you're better off to either, either get the carbon fibre fiber shafts, carbon fibre shaft or put some metal shaft on it. I'm going to use my sand boots, my gloves and my detected treasure pouch. So let's get over to the beach new beach, I haven't been to this one, um, it's a little bit remote so I don't know whether it's got the traffic on it but we'll see, we'll get in there and have a look see what treasures there are. Uh, let's give it a shot, let's give it a crack. Right here guys, we're coming down to Flinders now, I've never been to this beach, I've never detected on this beach so it'll be interesting to see whether there's going to be any targets or whether it's going to be scarce but you can only go and try it have a look Good. it's only a small community down here Flinders only a small place right on the point pretty much before you go around the Cape Shank so we'll see we'll see what the what the beach holds now as far as I'm aware with the COVID lockdowns and all that, as far as I'm aware I got an email from the Shire Council on Friday basically saying the beaches are open, you're allowed to go swimming, surfing, fishing and boating and so I'm assuming if I'm detecting on my own without socialising, apparently you're not allowed to be any more than groups of two. So. I'm by myself, so I don't think there's an issue with doing, doing detecting. Anyway, so this is the beach down here. Very nice scenery, scenic wise. You're right. Points over there. Anyway, let's get down there. All right, guys. Well, we made it to the beach. So let's get out and have a look. So you've got a nice big jetty there. Nice big pier. So I might even go and have a look under the pier and I'll head down head down to the right here. So this is the beach. We'll go down here. I'll probably head down this way a bit. Anyway, we'll hunt we'll hunt all this wet sand here, see what's going on. See if I can find any treasure. Anyway, let's get on the beach and get get some treasures. Rightio guys, so I'm down the beach, I'm probably just going to work my way around this area on all the wet sand. There's a fair bit of wet sand here, I'll try underneath that uh, pier as well. So, I'm down at the Flinders Beach, I'm not sure how far I'll go this way, but I might just concentrate around this pier. Uh, there might be a bit of stuff there. Anyway, let's get hunting. Rightio guys, got a first signal here, took two steps, got first signal, and uh, yep. Pull tab. All right, guys. So I've got another signal down here. She was ringing up at 23, 21, 25. A little bit over the place. So I should have it in the scoop now. We'll have a look and see whether it's in this pile of shit. I can see something. Looks like some bottle cap. Just a bottle cap. Oh yeah.
Get a solid 18 here guys, see if I can dig it. Righto guys, well I'm digging this and it's getting deep and I've actually hit something down there. I think it's like a pole or something so I'm not going to bother digging this one. Alright guys, so I had a uh, signal down here, she was ringing up a 16. So it must be in the scoop. So let's have a look. Fifteen, seventeen. Oh, here we go. What's this? There we are. A little bit of aluminium. Just rubbish. <laughs> Fun that must be. I envy you. It's pretty fun. I mean, you you can find, you know, you can find different things, treasures and stuff. You can find rings and jewelry. Yeah. yeah like I found a couple of rings, yeah. yeah. But I like to find old stuff. Just old just, metal that's come off from the sea or something. Well, I found a coin which was 1743. Wow. That was at Mornington Beach. Okay. Wow. So I don't know how it got there, but it was a King George II half penny. Well, that's fun, isn't yeah, it? Really yeah, so, fun. So it's, I'd like to just find old stuff. Just think of the history. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. What, if I could do anything, if I didn't have to go to work, I'd be a treasure hunter. Yeah. I'd go back and find out where all those old ships sunk. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be really cool. Alright guys, so I've, I've had a signal down here. It's ringing up a 15, 16 and I'm, it's not, not signalling anymore in here. So I'm assuming I've got it in the scoop. Oh, here we go. Here we are. Pull tab. Rightio guys, well, I'm working my way down towards this pier. I'm going to hunt underneath the pier on the other side. There's a few rocks up that end as well, so I'm going to do that. But I've got a signal down here. Initially rang up 21, 22. As I dug one out, it rang up in the 30s. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's in the scoop now. So I'll tip it out. This sand is so, so packed and so heavy. It is jam packed in there and it's lots of rock as well. Here we go, see? So that was ringing up at 33, 32 now. So, let's see, I can't find it. Here we go guys, it's a sinker. Rightio guys, so I've got another signal just up there. Uh, she was ringing up at 17 and uh, just washed it off in the water. And it is, if I can get it, another sinker. So I think, I think it's going to be a fair bit of rubbish on this beach but I've got another signal just here we'll dig it and see what it is all right guys so I had a signal down here and I pulled it okay so she's in this little area here something over here must be this let's see yeah it is it's this whatever that is probably a bit of aluminium oh yep sure is Bit of shit. All right, guys. Rightio, guys. Well, I had a signal down here. It was ringing up in the 30s, 36. It's not there now, so it must be in the scoop. I put, pulled about five scoops out. So let's have a look. Let's have a look and see if I can see anything. So there's something coming in there. Oh shit. Oh shit. You will not believe this guys. I've been thinking about getting another weights belt. Another weight for my weights belt. And have a look what I just found. A weight. Holy shit. Oh, that's friggin' awesome. That's just what I need, another weight. You beauty. <laughs> 
can't believe some of the shit you find on the beach. That's awesome. That is unreal. Now, well, that's one, one more wait for the weight belt. Alright guys, well, I'm getting closer to the pier, so I'll, I'll hunt underneath that. I'll try up on those rocks. Hopefully the battery will last on this camera. I've got a signal down here, 17. Let's see if it's see if we can find it. Ah, oh, here we go. Pull tab. <laughs> Bugger. All right, guys. So, still working my way down to this pier, digging these holes. They're bloody. I had a hole down here. I've had a signal for ages. It's taken forever to get it out. Anyway, it's in the scoop. So what? Oh, here we go. Just a bit of aluminium tin foil. Long way down. That's a good 10 inches, that bastard. Alright guys, I'm uh, just past the jetty here. Had a bit of a hunt under the jetty. Didn't get many signals. I got one signal just in the water where the waves are crashing in. But it was going down way too deep. And I think I've actually uh, damaged my scoop. So I'll see if I can get that TIG welded back together again. Anyway, I've got a signal down here. She was ringing up in the 20s. Okay, so I've got something here. It's probably a sinker. It's probably a sinker. Because it was, I think it was the low 30s actually. So, we'll see what it is. But Alright guys, well, I, I, I think I've got it in the scoop. I'm pretty sure I've got it in the scoop. Can't see anything. It's bloody... Anyway, it's not beeping where I... Where I check, so let's check it in the water. This little bit of crack should be able to rinse that off. Nothing. Now I gotta go find it again. What the hell? Oh, hang on a minute. What is that? Is that a ring that I see before me? Oh my god. Where's the washer? Oh yeah, baby. Is that a ring? Get it out and have a look. Oh, is that a ring? Looks like a ring. Oh, shit, dropped it. I think it is a ring. I think we've got a ring. I think we have a ring. Yeah, it's just a band, looks like a, possibly a wedding band, could be, doesn't, I'm, I'm going to say it's not sterling silver, I'm going to say it's 18 carat, or 9 carat, I'm going to say it's gold, I can see some stamps on the inside there, so there we go guys, first ring, new little ripper, and that was ringing up uh, 32, 33 I think, so that's cool. First ring, and I reckon that's gold. Radio guys, just got a ring, so down here, got another signal. Looks like a pull tab, guys. Alright, there we are. Load of shit. Got some big salt water worms here. Big worms. There's another one. Anyway, put them back. Right there, guys. So I'm on the rocks here. I'm just having a quick hunt here and then I'm going to leave. But I do get a signal down here in this rock pool. See if we can uncover something. All right, guys, I did find it. It's uh, right here, sinker. So I did forget. I did forget that sinkers usually hang out in rock, rocky areas. 
and they usually ring up in the 30s to high 20s I suppose depending on how big the sinker is anyway let's see if we can find something else radio guys in the 20s I'll see if I can find it radio guys well after about nearly half an hour of looking this is what I found in this paper piece of metal don't know what it is looks like rubbish could be sort of a bit of a jewelry type of thing because it's got a shape to it anyway all right two steps away from that other target and I got another signal down here be good if it was just a couple of a couple of sweeps under but mine are all usually about eight foot deep radio guys well looks like I found it I have no idea what that is um, could be uh, could be a leg off something maybe anyway we'll check it out when we get home but I've got another signal just just in front of it Ringing up in the 30s, so I'm going to I'll hunt this and I'll turn it on when I find it. Two hours later. All right, guys. Well, shit, I did find it. Took me forever. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head out now. I'm going to just walk along here, scanning this wet sand. Uh, I did get a signal down here. I think it was a 19. And I do have it in the scoop to be dodgy signals, though. Well, not dodgy, but they seem to be giving me. A signal and every time I take a scoop out it seems to get deeper so I've got no idea but I've got a feeling they're gonna be sinkers baby god damn radio right, guys well I'm on my way out um, just walking out up here go to the car park and I uh, got a signal down here in the dry sand I think I'm finished in the wet I've uh, damaged my scoop a bit so I might have to get that in and get it fixed. Anyway, I got a 16 down here. Let's see what that is. Shake it to the left. Oh, there it is. A bit of rubbish. A bit of aluminium. Crap. Right, I'm still walking out. Um, got a signal down here, it was a 17. So, let's see what it is. Rubbish. Looks like a pull tab. Yep. Pull tab. Alright guys, so it's the beach, it's a nice day, it's pretty calm, I uh, might have to come and do some magna fishing on this jetty, I reckon there'd probably be a fair bit of crap on here, it's not a bad, bad another video to do but, got a 16 signal down here, oh there we go, pull tab, pull tab, another one. Alright guys, well I'm so close to getting out and I found a signal down here and it looks like it's a zipper. Righto guys, well I'm walking out up this, well there's some stairs over there. Anyway, I've got a signal down here. Have a look at, have a look how deep this hole is. Have a look. That's a good 12 inches at least. I was getting a weird signal and I found it I found it have a look at it the smallest tent peg in the world that is just crazy the Equinox 800 she was picking it up rightio guys well I finished the hunt today and I actually did find a ring so I'm pretty sure it's it's a gold ring I do see some stamps on the inside of it but we'll get home and check that out I actually found that weight belt weight as well so and I was I was 
astonished because I've been thinking the last couple of weeks I need to get another another weight or another two weights for my weight belt because it doesn't hold me down with that 7mm wetsuit but anyway so I found another weight so that's good so let's get home and check out what I got right yeah guys I made it home from the from the hunt today um, didn't find didn't even, didn't find any coins at all on this hunt a bit strange didn't even find any 10 cent pieces or 20 cent pieces usually you find them a lot uh, so let's have a look and see what I got all right so here's the finds so we do have a lot of junk here I found this I can't believe I found this this will go good because I've got a weight belt and I was thinking about getting more weights for it I don't have to buy it I just go and find it now I've got some sinkers here some lead and I don't know what this is but I might try and clean that up it might be some sort of leg off something perhaps I might clean that up later found this piss ant little I don't know what I don't think it's a tent peg actually it might be a cleaning tool by the look of that actually it's not a tent peg it looks like it might be a it's got points on either end it might be a cleaning tool rubbish rubbish pull tabs galore a few, and a bottle cap and now I did get these two items this here is a 925 sterling silver ring it's got a 925 hallmark stamp on it on the inside so I'll just turn this on and we'll see how much she weighs 1.77 grams so pretty light pretty light ring it's, a, it's obviously a fresh drop being that clean 95 usually goes black and this is also something I don't know I have a feeling it's a. I have a feeling it's it is something maybe that broke. It looks like it's copper, but anyway, it's something a little bit different. I don't really know what it is. Might try and clean it up. See if there's anything on it. Um, anyway, it does sound different when you drop it. It's got that clunking sound, and it does look. A bit coppery so anyway those two items there so that's really it so one two three good items the rest is trash well there's sinkers that I can put in my lead bucket probably make another couple of these things myself anyway guys thanks for watching do me a favor hit the like button it's good for my videos if the more likes I get subscribe if you're not subscribed and turn your notifications on I'm Chris indoors outdoors with edgy See you on the next time.